Now, ladies and gentlemen who have joined us here in the Knapp Center this afternoon on the lovely campus of Drake University in Des Moines, and for those of you joining us across the country and abroad via our live web stream, welcome to the 42nd Annual Beautiful Bulldog Contest presented by Salmon's Financial. My name is Steve Barry, your host for this afternoon's pageant. Thank you very much. For everyone watching us online, we are coming to you from the Knapp Center where 21 beautiful bulldogs, because 20 just wasn't enough, are competing for the honor of being crowned the most beautiful bulldog to reign over the 111th running of the Drake Relays presented by Extreme, powered by Mediacom. This year, our contestants not only came from Iowa, but also Wisconsin, Tennessee, and Missouri. Also, half of the contestants are rescue dogs. We're grateful to thank our presenting sponsor, yes, always important. We'll be talking more about that later, too. Uh, always thankful for uh, our presenting sponsor, Salmon's Financial Group. The companies of Salmon's Financial Group help families and businesses protect their future so they can enjoy their day. City owned with member companies that are among the most enduring and stable in the financial services industry. A note about this year's contest we have reduced the number of contestants from 40 to 21. This is to ensure there's plenty of space on the floor for social distancing. Remember, face masks. Thank you very much. Let's meet our four distinguished judges who have an extremely difficult challenge of determining which of these gorgeous bulldogs on our floor here exhibits the distinct traits that make them the most beautiful bulldog. First up, Hulk and owner Justine Johnson. Oh, there, okay, good, all right. Okay, so um, 2020 beautiful bulldog Hulk will accompany owner Justine Johnson of Jewel, Iowa to judge. Justine owns a catering business called the Silver Spoon Catering in Roland, Iowa. She and her husband Heath Johnson have had Hulk in their family since 2017. Hulk did not get to experience the thrill of an in-person contest as he was voted on by fans in a virtual contest last year. And how nice it is to be able to get together, at least in some way, to kind of get back to normal with a live bulldog contest. Another judge, Isabel Tharp current Drake University College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences student. Isabel is a third year student pharmacist at Drake University and currently serves as the president of the American Pharmacists Association, Academy of Student Pharmacists. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Isabel has helped with COVID-19 testing for students living on campus and has spent time at the Harkin Institute vaccinating members of the community against COVID-19. Thank you very much for your service, and we're glad you're here. Felix Gallagher. Felix is a 2000 PharmD graduate of Drake University College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. He is principal of FarmServe Solutions, a business specializing in interim, long-term, and permanent placements for pharmacies across the Midwest. Felix currently serves as a member of the Drake College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences National Advisory Committee, a trustee for the Des Moines Area Community College, member of the Greater Des Moines Committee, and member of Sigma Pi Phi Fraternity. Felix Gallagher again, thank you for being here. Mike Mock is a proud Drake alumnus, graduating with a BA in philosophy and religion in 1992 and a Juris Doctorate in 1995. Mike was in private practice with the Des Moines law firm of Bradshaw, Fowler, Proctor, and Fairgrave for 16 years. In 2013, Mike joined Salmon's Financial Group, where he currently is VP for Strategy and Corporate Development. As you can see, Mike is joining us virtually today, so Thank you to the School of Education for loaning us their student robot, robot named Trebek. It didn't work out as well as we planned, but it's a really cool device. We'll hopefully show it to you sometime. Remember, folks, to vote for your preferred competitor for the Porterhouse People's Choice Award, given in honor of our 2009 Most Beautiful Bulldog. 
We want you to choose the bulldog you feel most represents the spirit of Porterhouse. You can vote at drake.edu slash vote anytime now and throughout the continuation of the pageant. You can only vote once, so make it count. And now, without further ado, allow me to introduce to you our 21 Bulldog contestants. Contestants, are you ready? All right. First up, Big Lou. Six-year-old male owned by Terry Allen of Newton. He was born with a spinal defect called spina bifida. He is now the Spina Bifida Organization of Des Moines mascot. He is also the greeter at Pet Kingdom in Newton. This is Big Lou's second time at the Drake Bulldog Contest. Contestant one is Big Lou, everybody. <laughs> Contestant number two is Ivy Grace. One-year-old female owned by Heather Peterson of Nevada, Iowa. Ivy Grace is a spunky little girl. Early in life, she had a medical issue and has no tail, so now she greets people with a full butt wiggle. She loves to play in her pool and play fetch when she isn't wrestling with her sister, Wrigley. Please welcome Ivy Grace. <laughs> Contestant number three is Mabel, a three-year-old female rescued uh, owned by Lisa Bricks of Ames. Hello. Mabel's family fosters for Lucky Bulldogs Rescue, and although Mabel spent the first two years of her life in a large-scale commercial breeding facility, she now gets to help other dogs that are living life outside of the cage learn how to be a dog. She enjoys long naps in the sun, playing with her toys, wrestling with her foster siblings, and has given her family so much joy this last year. Mabel. <laughs> Contestant number four, huh? oh my goodness, Wilson. Hi, Wilson. Wilson is a one-year-old male rescue owned by Michelle Rankin of Waukee. Wilson is a quick learner. He learned the command to sit at eight weeks. Wilson stays active alongside his 17-year-old brother, Carson, with football, track, and baseball. He also loves spending time with his eight-year-old sister. Is it Mia? Yes, who, uh, who has Down syndrome. He is very loved by all. This is Wilson. <laughs> Contestant number five is Dottie. An eight-year-old female rescue owned by Kat McAuliffe of Des Moines. Dottie is the sweetest girl with the biggest heart. She loves being a therapy dog with the uh, Animal Rescue League's Therapets program. Her snore can wake the dead, and so can her toots. She, <laughs> she enjoys snacks, making new friends, snacks, naps, bubbles her sister, and snacks. This is Dottie. <laughs> Number six, this is Maverick. Yes, a two-year-old male rescue owned by Samantha Thompson of St. Charles, Missouri. Maverick has the most chill and sincere personality ever. He is incredibly empathetic and will meet any mood you have. He will spontaneously get the zoomies and turn into a 55-pound bowling ball. He is helping to raise the newest member of the family, a one-year-old rescue bulldog named Goose. I can see the theme now. This is Maverick. Contestant number seven is Charlie. He's a three-and-a-half-year-old male. Owned by Ian. Pronounce your last name for me. One more time. Kasak. All right, Ian Kasak of West Des Moines. 
Charlie comes from a family that bleeds Drake blue. His human sisters are both current Drake students, and his human brother and parents are all Drake alumni. Charlie's favorite snacks are cheese puffs and plain yogurt. He is the world's biggest snuggle bug and enjoys being rocked to sleep every night. This is Charlie. <laughs> Contestant number eight, Elmer, is a three-year-old male owned by Mackenzie Nicholas of, is it Cordova, Tennessee? Welcome. Well, nice to have you here. Elmer is the youngest pup in the house, but he knows how to make his presence known. From being head cookie taster to making sure the bedding is properly laundered with just the right fluff, Elmer is on top of every job around his kingdom. When he isn't hard at work, he is busy making sure the couch doesn't get away and keeping track of all of his toys. Elmer, ladies and gentlemen. Contestant number nine. This is Bonnie, a seven-week-old female owned by Whitney Monahan of Leon, Iowa. Bonnie enjoys short walks, chewing things, and long naps on the couch. And she is about as cute as they come. Please welcome Bonnie. Okay, number 10. Luna is a two-year-old female owned by Pedro Beza of Des Moines, Iowa. Luna is an easygoing bulldog who loves to eat the chairs and everything else that's on the floor. And lovely Luna loves to be petted. Contestant number 10, Luna. Contestant 11, Titus is a 10-year-old rescue owned by Paige Kingston of Fitchburg, Wisconsin. Titus, a.k.a. the Big Lug, enjoys large antler bones and long naps on the couch. His special talent is called Put Him Up, where he sits on his butt and two back legs and puts his hands up in the air. Titus... Now, Titus is also blind in one eye, so watch out. He might step on your feet from time to time. That was Titus, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes Myrtle May, a female rescue owned by Whitney Bogdansky of Des Moines. Myrtle May came to her family from Lucky Bulldog's Rescue. She has been overbred and was surrendered by the breeder. She suffered complications after her spay and developed epilepsy. Myrtle May's family was initially her foster family, but they immediately fell in love with her and knew she needed to be part of their family. Myrtle May! Lucky 13, Betsy is a five-year-old female rescue owned by Molly Gilbertson of Des Moines. Betsy was an Easter miracle for her family since she was adopted from Paws and Claws Rescue and Rehab last Easter. Betsy's been the mom to at least two litters, but she hasn't lost her sass. Her two favorite activities are cuddling on the couch with a blanket and roughhousing with the big dogs in the dog park but she usually tires more quickly of the roughhousing. This is Betsy. <laughs> Contestant 14. Reesey is a one and a half year old female owned by Rochelle Clark of Sioux City. Ms. Reese entered her family's household as a young pup shortly before the pandemic escalated, and around the same time, Rochelle's youngest son was preparing to finish high school, graduate, and head off to college. The name Reese is a reflection of her coloring, 
as well as her mom's love of the peanut butter chocolatey treat, although with a different spelling. Reese's childlike energy and playfulness reminds her family to keep moving forward and stay positive always. Reese. Contestant number 15, Samson Jameson Bronson. He's a two-year-old male owned by Robin Bronson of Independence, Missouri. Samson Jameson Bronson enjoys eating, napping, doing tricks, car rides, snuggling with his family, and playing hide-and-seek. Samson is also training to be the therapy dog for Williams Southern Elementary School in Independence, home of the Bulldogs. He is a very sweet, lovable, and adorable little bulldog. Samson Jameson Bronson. Number 16, this is Meaty, a one-year-old male rescue owned by Elizabeth McCulloch of West Des Moines. Meaty loves squeaky toys, is very affectionate, and a surprisingly fast runner. He looks like it. Please welcome Meaty. Number 17, this is Georgie, a one and a half year old, one and a half year old female owned by Sydney Olson of Des Moines. Georgie is the friendliest girl in the world. Not only is she everyone's friend, but you better be ready to play when you see her coming. She is also a huge fan of Doritos. This is Georgie. Number 18. Achilles is a three and a half year old rescue owned by Tob Kaslerich of Linden, Iowa. Achilles loves tacos. He loves short walks around the block and playing in the park and he seems to know he has found his forever home. Say hi to Achilles. Number 19, this is Bosco, a three-year-old male owned by Shane Klauser of Ames. Bosco is your stereotypical lazy bulldog. Most days consist of sleeping and hanging out with his best friend Peppa the Chihuahua. One of Bosco's favorite outings is to go to a dog show and strut his stuff in the ring. If you run into Bosco while you're out and about, don't forget to ask him for a high five. <laughs> Bosco. Number 20. Millie is a one-year-old female owned by Alex and Amanda Mason and two sisters, Presley and Stella. She loves to swim, car rides, sucking on and chewing body parts off her toys, and playing with her sisters. She only likes to cuddle when she wants to, otherwise she gets an attitude. She also makes the strangest noises. She loves daycare and meeting new friends. Please welcome Millie. can't believe we're down to our last contestant. This is number 21, Emma. She's a one and a half year old rescue owned by Katie Doyle of West Des Moines. They got Emma from Lucky Bulldog Rescue. Emma's dad is a Des Moines firefighter. She likes long naps in front of the fire, kisses from her four-legged friend Penelope, and treats. Please welcome Emma. And there are your 21 beautiful Bulldog contestants. Let's all give them a big hand, everybody. Now the judges have to make some difficult final decisions. And you have a difficult decision to vote for your favorite in the Porterhouse People's Choice Award. You have a few minutes to submit your votes, which you can do again at drake.edu slash vote. 
As we await the judges' results, let's hear from a few more folks. Blake? Is Blake here? Hi. Come on over. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Drake uh, Relays Director Blake Bolden. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. Well, I'll start by saying I am glad I'm not a judge today. Uh, the competition is, I would use the word fierce, but I think it's uh, more friendly than fierce, but it's a, a, a tough competition to say the least. Just want to thank you all for being part of our in-person Drake Relays activities. Uh, incredible week ahead. This morning we had nearly a thousand finishers on the Blue Oval in Drake Stadium for the Drake Road Races. Uh, virtual Grand Blue Mile kicked off today. Uh, registration still available for 10 bucks. Uh, shirt, fun, pa fun pack, the whole deal gets delivered to your door for $10. Um, and in fact, here in the state of Iowa, the town with the highest participation uh, by zip code will win a $10,000 grant to go right back into the com community. So a lot of fun things going on. Um, and certainly track and field gets going in full swing Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, and Saturday. So busy week here on campus uh, with We've got uh, three world record holders that will be competing, uh, nine Olympic medalists from Rio, and it will be one of the world's greatest track and field meets in 2021. So thanks for being here today, and good luck to the contestants. Thank you. Thank you, Blake, and thanks for all your hard work in getting the relays up and going this year. I know last year was a disappointment for everybody, but uh, uh, we're back. And again, thanks for all your work. Our 2020 Most Beautiful Bulldog, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, the 2020 contest winner again, Hulk, and his owners, Justine and Heath Johnson. So tell us about how uh, the voting went uh, for this. I know, again, things were a little different this time around last year. But uh, tell us what the year's been like and, and how things have been going with, uh, with this beautiful animal here. Well, I mean, it was all virtual, so that was fun. We got to have people interacting, you know, during quarantine. We didn't really have much to do, but we voted for the dog, so he, he knows he's the king. So He knows he's the king. <laughs> he loves wearing his crown, so I think he was sad to see that go. Well, it is kind of sad, too, when you say goodbye, but, you know, he's always going to have uh, that title, and uh, you were terrific. Let's hear it once again for Hulk, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, you guys. We appreciate it. Do you want to take a final? Hi. Yes, we have a parting gift for you, which is presented by Drake staff member Lisa Cooper. Lisa, tell us, tell us what this is. And I used Hulk green paint in the background, and it's Hulk's portrait from last year. Yeah. Let's get a close shot of that, can we? Oh, that's great. Well, thank you very much. We sure appreciate it. And again, thanks for, uh, for, for being part of uh, the Drake Relays family. Okay, before we get to uh, the judging... I want to take a minute here to mention the Griff Gives Back campaign. This year, Griff 2 has collected nearly 25,000 pounds of food to benefit area animals in need through the Pet Project Midwest, a local pet food pantry that aims to keep loved pets in their homes with the families who love them but are struggling to put food in their bowls. Griff 2's goal is to collect 30,000 pounds. Donations can still be made through April 24th. Just visit drake.edu slash live mascot. We also want to acknowledge author Gary Porter, a 1972 graduate from the College of Business and Public Administration. Gary is the author of Griff One's memoir, Griff, My Life as Drake's Top Dog. Gary is also a distinguished lecturer at Drake and member of the National Advisory Council for the Business School. A portion of the proceeds from the book sales are going to support the Drake University Live Mascot Program. Gary and his wife, Melissa, are here today. If they can stand to be recognized, let's give them a hand. Where are you?
I'm anxious to read that. Thank you very much. We sure appreciate it. Uh, you can purchase the book at the Drake Bookstore on campus, at Heart of Iowa, Beaverdale Books, Bon Appetit, and the Jordan Creek Barnes & Noble. You can also purchase it on Amazon, or the Drake Bookstore has a web store. Ladies and gentlemen, our judges have acquainted themselves with all 21 Bulldogs and have had the difficult task of narrowing it down to our finalists. I would again like to recognize and thank our judges for their work in choosing this year's winner. Thank you very much, judges. I know it's not easy. Okay, got this. Okay. Drake Spirit Award. We've got Drake Spirit Award, Best Dressed Bulldog and Rescue Dog Recognition. Staff is going to hand me each of the winners on note cards, and they're right here. Thank you. Okay. Drake Spirit Award is given to the Bulldog who best exemplifies the Drake University pride and spirit. And that award goes to Millie. Congratulations, Millie! Woohoo! Yes! Congratulations! The best dressed bulldog. Thank you very much. The best dressed, and I tell you what, we sure get some fun outfits every year. This year, the best dressed award goes to Maverick. Come on, Maverick. <laughs> Way to go, bud. Way to go, yes. Congratulations. That's Maverick, the best dressed bulldog today. And now it's time to recognize the rescue dog winner. Thank you very much. This year, Nearly half of the contestants are rescue dogs. Yep. This award will go to the dog that judges felt best represented a rescue dog. And that award goes to Meaty. Meaty. Congratulations, Meaty. Thank you very much. Congrats. I'd now like to invite Aaron and Kevin Bell forward to present the Porterhouse People's Choice Award. Not only is Aaron now an Associate Director of Marketing at Drake, in charge of the live mascot program, but the Bells were the parents of Porterhouse. Accompanying to the stage is Griff Two, Drake University's <clears throat> Okay. So Griff Two is Drake's official live mascot. Now just to reiterate the difference between Griff Two and today's most beautiful bulldog. Griff represents Drake University year round, and the most beautiful bulldog serves as the mascot for this year's week-long Drake Relays. <laughs> you, can't, you can't script that stuff, folks. <laughs> All right. 
Thank you for voting, everybody. The Porterhouse People's Choice Award goes to Samson Jameson Bronson. Congratulations. That's quite an honor. That's what everybody says. This is, well. Way to go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for, the naming of our three finalists. When I call your Bulldog's name in no specific order, would you please join me here on the stage? Thank you very much. Our three finalists. Betsy. All right, Betsy, another finalist, Dottie. Come on, Dottie. Dottie, D O T T I E. <laughs> Congratulations, Dottie, for making our three finalists. And our third finalist, Myrtle May. All right, Myrtle May. I want to point out the contest thrown here. It was refurbished by Professor Josie Poppin in the Theater Arts Department. Let's give her a hand for keeping this tradition going. Thank you very much. These three finalists will be named the second runner-up, first runner-up, and the 2021 Drake Relay's Most Beautiful Bulldog. Our second runner-up award goes to Dottie. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have only two remaining Bulldogs. One will be named the Drake Relay's most beautiful Bulldog. However, if for some reason the winning Bulldog cannot fulfill his or her responsibilities as the most beautiful Bulldog, the first runner-up will become the successor to the throne. Our first runner-up award goes to Betsy. And that means your 2021 Drake Relay's most beautiful bulldog is Myrtle May. <laughs> this is the moment the dogs have no idea what the heck's going on. A throne, a crown, what? <laughs> Oh, 
Congratulations, Myrtle May. <laughs> quick pick, quick pick. Let's hear it again for Myrtle May, everybody. The 2021 Drake Relay's most beautiful bulldog. We'd again like to thank Salmon's Financial Group and everyone involved in this year's contest. It's, uh, it takes a lot of effort to put this together, especially this time of year. But uh, again, thank you to the Drake staff for doing this. And of course, thank you to all of our beautiful Bulldog contestants, as well as to all of you who joined us here at the Knapp Center on the campus of Drake University, and those of you watching us via our live web stream for being a part of this exciting event and helping us kick off the 111th Drake Relays presented by Extreme, powered by Mediacom. Happy Drake Relays Week, everybody.